And specifically as it relates to panorama, part of what we have noticed is the spectator's experience at the event is not always one that is deemed the best. And I specifically say at the event, because for example, last year, for the people who viewed Panorama, let's say pay-per-view online, they had a wonderful experience. I mean, we had comments coming in from those folks because it was produced in a manner whereby for the people viewing online, there was no hole up, no lull in between. You had the commentaries coming after every band and you had a prelude in terms of the history of the band coming before the bands. So we are very confident that as we continue to do pay-per-view and reach out to the audience in the diaspora and globally, we are fine with that and we will continue with that. However, for the patrons at the venue, we are working towards having a number of fillers that will do several things. Keep the audience alive and not have that lull as the bands change over from one to the next. But more so, the fillers we are looking at are also aimed to be educational fillers, things that will further help people understand Pan. So whether it's going to be something dramatized, whether it's going to be a dance in between, whatever it is, that's the intention. So as it is now, we are... We have had some preliminary meetings, but we have not had that major meeting with the Steelman Association as yet in terms of rolling out panorama. I could tell you we had that with Queens, we had it with traditional mass, fancy mass. So Pan is one of those that is, is next in line for that. 